in the leafy suburbs of Lucky Summer in Babadogo, Nairobi City County, 23rd of December in the year 1998, a content genius was born, a living legend, a content cartel, a genius luo. This is a documentary of Kennedy Odhiambo, the one and the only Crazy Kena. My name is Liquid Mogzi. This is the story of Crazy Kena. My name is Crazy Kena. As said before, in the year 1998, 23rd of December, Kennedy Odhiambo was born. He was born in Babadogo in Nairobi. His both parents are Luos from Nyanza region. He is a third born in a family of four boys. His oldest brother is a doctor. The other one is a business person and also assist Crazy Kenna in his content creation. The last born has just completed high school. His father and mother are business persons and they have contributed a lot to his content creation, especially his mother who gave him a house to act in and costumes to act with that he used at his very first days of content production. His father always assisted him financially and has always been there in funding of his schooling and content creation. Wait! Wait, why? What, why? Crazy Kenna started his early education at Sacred Heart School in Babadogo, Nairobi. Afterward, he attended Ringa Boys High School in Homabi County, Nyanza region. Crazy Kenna was always a top student and a leader in his primary and secondary school. He was a head boy still at Ringa Boys. At KCSE, he topped the exams and proceeded to Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, commonly referred to as Jay Kuat. He is now pursuing a degree in actuarial science, but I know you are all wondering how did he enter into his acting journey and career? Well, this is how he got into it. The acting passion in Crazy Kenna set off back when he was in Standard 3, where he was introduced by his brother to drama and acting club. He always had a passion for performing arts at his tender age. In fact, he started participating in music and drama festivals while in Standard 7. In the year 2011, in Kenya National Music and Drama Festivals, he won the Best Young Actor Award in Nairobi County. When he joined secondary school, drama and acting was not introduced until he was in Form 2. When the club was initiated, he propelled his his career by being a super active member of the drama club. Along the way in high school, he picked up comedy from his drama teacher, who knew at this time comedy would make him the next big person in future and be his insignia. After high school, Crazy Kenna briefly held a job as a teacher in Lucky Summer in Nairobi. It was a temporary informal job that saw him get paid for services at the roadside. He started making few videos here and there, but not as official as when he joined Jay Quad. It is in Jay Quad where he officially started making videos randomly. It's at that time where he and himself the title content cutter he was joined by his very close friend stanley omondi who was his cameraman then the two set off for the long journey they have been in until now this was all happening in 2017 they didn't have enough or good shooting equipments as they had no funds for it, they used to shoot scenes using common mobile phone, uploading their videos on Instagram, where they got a little relevance that built their popularity foundation. Kena tried to seek an acting platform in Jaikuat, but found none. It's at this very moment where he and his pal Stanley decided to pioneer the tales of Crazy Kena. This is when it all started. Here, he was joined by his former workmates, Cynthia Wajiro also known as she, Yvonne Hisa, Bushra Sakshi, Stephen Otieno also known as Yusufu Idioti. They 
a group of six became the tales of crazy kana cast where they have worked together for thousands of videos since 2018 up to 2023 where four of them parted ways each of them preparing individual wise making of videos in school was hard and tiresome priceless he would make videos which ended up having limited audiences but this did not stop him from continuing making videos was tiresome because as he says a two minute video would be made even up to six hours worked on by more than three people repeating videos until they made the perfect shot was the worst part of it it was priceless because they would make videos and get few views resulting to no income monetizing of his content was not done in one day it was a tiresome process each took years consistency was and has been the key in crazy kenna's mind whenever he, he was for instance editing his videos he found out that his videos size was large for instance around 700 mb and his phone was about 1 gb so this meant that he could not upload that particular video crazy kenna indicates that he has a number of videos that he has never uploaded on his platforms despite all those icebergs he has hit he has never ceased to shoot his content most of you really ask why does kena refer to himself as the goat and people agree that yes he is the greatest of all time let me tell you why crazy kena was born a genius where if you don't know who a genius is let me explain it to you legends such as isaac newton elon musk albert einstein william shakespeare's are examples of greatest word geniuses each in their own field a genius is a person who is born with high intelligent quotient or iq in short form these geniuses happen to be sharp since they are young they always tend to perform highly in school and are multi talented most geniuses tend to think outside the box faster than the rest and are smart meaning they outshine in every activity they dive in they are full of ideas and most of them think out and invent new things which were not there before and if they were they improve it in a great way most geniuses are powerful and successful people in real life and in this category falls crazy kena crazy kena is a good and i have 10 points to prove that Number 1 he never lacks ideas in his videos number 2 he is very sharp academically number 3 he is vibrant confident and skillful in his videos number 4 he sees things in a different way and this makes him make great videos from ordinary day to day activities that appear normal to other people number 5 He can look at an issue, a person or an event and immediately create an idea from it, trans- transforming it to the greatest thing in a video. Number 6, he can look at a person, study his character and actions and create a video out of it. We have seen him creating great videos just from people's characters. Number 7, He has never copied anyone's way of making content. He makes fast hard videos that are solely his brainchild. Number 8, he is a reader. He reads his cast and has never failed. Number 9, he is multi-talented and can multitask acting, business, school and family at the same time. Number 10, He is a great person because he has never stopped acting because he is out of his ideas. He is consistent, hard working and sharp. Now, those are the 10 reasons to why Crazy Kenna is a good and he is forever the content cater and no one will replace him at all time ever. Crazy Kenna's achievements are numerous and never ending. Every day Kenna hits a milestone and achieves goals. He will receive awards even after writing this documentary. That means that some of them won't be mentioned here. 
as of 2024 March. These are some of the greatest achievements Crazy Kenna has ever made. As I said earlier, in 2011, he won the Best Actor in Award in Kenya National Music and Drama Festivals when he was in primary school. Afterwards, in 2021, he won the Kenya Comedy Influencer of the Year. In 2022, Steve, he won the Facebook Influencer of the Year and still won the Instagram Influencer of the Year Award. Another huge milestone to Crazy Kenna was in November 2022 when he was invited to London Meta Creator Week where he represented Kenya in London. In October 8, 2023, at Pars Influencer Awards at Nairobi Street Kitchen, Kenna won the Comedy Influencer of the Year. Another huge milestone was in 16th of December 2023, where he held his biggest show, The Happy Country Show, that sold out in a great way. This show is the greatest startup comedy performance Kenna has ever made. It was held at KICC. Most of us will never forget it. These awards are just a tip of it as I know that he is going to receive a lot of awards afterwards. He has always dreamt of winning an Oscar, a thing that I know he will achieve one day. Crazy Kenna has performed at many events in Kenya, very many. Not to forget that he has even one, once performed in the university I am currently in, St. Paul's University. He has also performed at performed in different universities and events. Comedy has made Crazy Kenna to be known. It has raised his fame and popularity across Kenya, Africa, and worldwide. He has a massive following on social media platforms. For instance, he has 1.4 million followers on Instagram, 1.2 million followers on TikTok, 1 million followers on Facebook. He has over 620,000 subscribers on YouTube. He has a massive following on X platform with over 347 followers on Twitter. This massive following has positively led him to engage in a number of broad endorsements, broad advertising, and as we talk now, he is a broad ambassador of Fanta, Farmer's Choice, Betica, Guardian Coach, Grad Acres, Taralon Up, among others. Crazy Kenna has worked with great people in Kenya and has featured them on his videos. Some of them, just to mention a few, are Jackie Vike or Awinja, Frako, Churchill, Jackie Matubia, among many others. Finally, it's evident and clear that Crazy Kenna is the goat of content in Kenya. In fact, he is the content cater. When he posted this on his Twitter account saying that he is a goat and someone should write a book about him. He meant what he said. I had no material to come out with a book, but a documentary perhaps like this one continues to prove that he is a goat and he is irreplaceable. That is a documentary of the life of Crazy Kenna, officially referred to as Kennedy Odiambo. It was prepared and written by me, Liquid Mogzi. If you have an opinion, thought, or a feeling, drop it on the comment section. If you would want to reach out to me, the number is on the screen. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do it as soon as possible for many videos like this one not to pass you. This is the Liquid Moxie TV. We inform and entertain. Bye bye for now. Let's meet in the next documentary. Thank you.